Hello, I'm having a funny old day today. I'm here on my own in the apartment today. I'd be busy, he's off somewhere doing something else. I had a really, really late night because I was playing in a bar with friends, as I do, for fun. Really enjoyed that. My flute, uh, it's right. It's perfectly correct, I think, for the majority of players. And it's really funny, right, because I've been diagnosing an issue. I need to go and get it just tweaked, just a micro tweak. And it's not their fault, honestly, because I'm a bit weird. If I play classical styly, it's fine. If I play traditional musical styly, I obviously just apply slightly less pressure to one of the keys. And it's it makes that one go down there. And it basically stops the other sounding properly. I just need to put a bit more welly into the thumb, but I don't. It's not my technique, it's not how I play, so I just need them. I, th I was thinking about it, shall I just try and relearn? No, I don't want to. I'm here, I'm still here, I haven't gone home yet, so I'm gonna go and take it back. I emailed them yesterday and they said, just bring it in any time during opening hours, we'll just we'll sort of that for you. Anyway, so I've been in the flat today, I've done a few bits and bobs. I've put a wash load on, been loading up the dishwasher as well. I tell you what, I'm not with it today, I'm really not with it. I forgot to bring my bottle of water out and also I thought, I'll try walking to another metro station, see if it's closer, I just got completely lost. Um, anyway, I just found a continent, I, I was gonna film in there and there was a security guard with like a head talky thingy on, so I was like, mm, no, I'm not gonna risk that. So anyway, I got i got a Coke Zero caffeine free and it was 80 cents, which I thought that's not too bad actually. Right, I'm going to find a metro <laughs> and get on it. Do you know, I was going to get water. I had the best of intentions. I just saw that. I was like, mmm. There's a castle up there anyway. It's always good for a bit of orientation if you can see the castle. Do you know, when I first came to Portugal, like in the 90s, late 90s, I was shocked to see things like bras and knickers on display in the front of shop windows. But I'm not anymore. I think maybe the UK's caught up now. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure at that time, you just wouldn't have seen that, but you do now. I wonder if anybody else has ever had an urge to run a ball down here through the, the handrail. Seems the most obvious thing. I just want a ping pong ball, but it probably end up bouncing on the line or something. Now I don't know if you've noticed this or not from watching my vlogs, but the metro train comes from this side. <laughs> it's the opposite to the cars up above. I haven't really planned out today, to be honest, but I'm thinking, right, this is where I'm gonna be once my flute's done. So I'm thinking I might get the train down to Khartou because it's on the same line. Khartou, which means rat or mouse. It's the same word in Portuguese for both things. There you go, a little fun fact for you there. There's a, just a park there I really like and I might go there and have a coffee and a cake or something. Just for old time's sake, really, because I used to live around the corner from there so it just, I don't know, it would take me back to my young adulthood. Just a nostalgia trip. But it's actually quite an interesting park. It's full of very ancient, interesting trees like you don't see in the UK. And I do get excited by lots of exciting looking different trees, as you may know. These chairs have had me several times now. Look, there's no back on them. Like, I just automatically put my bag down next to me and then it falls off and I've done it so many times. But not anymore. I think I've finally grown wise to it. I'm trying to work out what that bong, bong means does it mean there's a train coming or does it mean there's an announcement about to come on well there is a train coming i mean it'd be handy to hear a bong to warn you if you're upstairs and you need to get down extra quick because you never know whether you should rush or not or if you're just rushing to wait for four minutes That's the ladies, right, I'm pretty sure it's the other exit. <laughs> Good, good. I've been in there all sorted. The smallest of problems, honestly, it's just to do with my weird style of playing. <laughs> like, if I was playing classical style, that would have been an absolute perfect thing. Anyway, all sorted now. Anyway, I'm going to the ball ring because it's actually a shopping centre. I mean, it's still a ball ring, but there's a shopping centre. 
and um, I need the loo basically so I'm rather hoping there's going to be a toilet in because <laughs> uh, this is something I've had a little bit of trouble with finding public conveniences I keep ending up going to cafes to use the loo which is you know which is quite nice I like to go to cafe and to be honest they're not very expensive to have a little coffee anyway so it's all right I wonder how we get in I've had this before right I think we go down there because you get underground to go to it. I was going to say, let's see what happens, but I can already see some illuminated shop signs down there. I happen to know from last time, not allowed to film in here. Yeah, technically you're allowed to film in public places, but a lot of places are actually privately owned, you see, like shopping centres and supermarkets and things like that. So it's not always a given. So just because the public are allowed in there, you know, to publicly access, it doesn't mean it is technically public from a are you allowed to film point of view. This would be so fun on a scooter. You'd have to keep your foot on the brake though. <laughs> Somebody taller than me might bang their head on the ceiling though, just saying. But the scooter obviously lifts you up a bit. I need to get back to riding my scooter. It's just that it's always raining where I live and I don't want to go out in the rain on it. I'm back out. The toilets were nice and clean. I had a little bit of a queue, but yeah, all good in the toilet department. I had a little mooch around the shop, which is torture because I haven't got any room in my case to buy anything and bring it back. I need a bigger suitcase for my next trip. I am going to invest in the next size up case because I've got a medium one. And I always have this problem because by the time I packed a tripod and my all my gear for vlogging, there's not a lot of room left for anything else really. So um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to come to the metro now. Oh, and I took some cash out as well because I was on the last of it really. I'm getting hungry now, but I've got some nibbles in my bag. I shall nibble them in transit and then have something in the park, I think. Oh, I wonder if there was actually an access point to the metro from Campbell Pequeno. I wouldn't be surprised. Train's doing three minutes, just time for a nice little munch on this mix of Bombay mix and dried broad bean thingies with salt. Yes, that'll keep me going for a bit. Oh, look at this fancy escalator at Khartoum metro station. Oh, it's raining, just as I'm going to park. I have an umbrella, it's not gonna stop me. Well, here I am in my old neck of the woods from 25, 25 years ago. Oh. I lived down that road there, Rue de Salbiento, and it's the road where the parliament is, but it's right up the other end, not at this end. So this is Ratu. It's another metro exit over there. Right, anyway, the park is this way. Oh, this one of beans look nice. The rain is trying to decide whether to rain fully or just occasionally a little bit. Looks all right that way, looks brighter. No, it's definitely getting heavier. I'm just going to stop under this awning and put my umbrella up. There's my old local park. Parque Strela, I think it's called. Sometimes I get that wrong. It might be Jardin de Strela. I'll put it on the screen anyway. So you've got the correct version. You can hear that rain on the umbrella. You can hear children playing. Well, it must be after school hours now. That's nice. Well, this isn't quite what I envisaged, you know, to be in the rain with an umbrella, but never mind. The cafe's there and the big umbrellas to do a shelter. I'm going to do a little turn of the park first before I settle down. There might be another cafe at the other end, actually. So I'll see. Yeah, I think the other one might be, like, properly indoors, so I might go for that one today. There's a lovely big rope climbing frame over there, like the ones you get in the UK, no different. Play area here as well. Not much water in that pond, is there? All the children are running in from the rain, so I get to show you the play area. It's looking a lot more aged than the last time I did a vlog in here because I have vlogged in here before when my daughter was little. It'll be quite interesting for me to go back and watch it, I think. We've got palm trees in the park. That's novel for Brits. It really is. You feel like you're somewhere exotic when there's palm trees. There are people sheltering under the dense foliage of that tree there. It's not even that heavy, to be honest. Well, not if you've got an umbrella. Look, Stralizia! There's a viewing platform or something up there. I wonder how you get onto that. I wonder if you can access it from within the park. Maybe it's a cage. I mean, there's like sort of fencing material around it. Maybe it has birds in sometimes. I don't know. Is the answer. Look at this tree. Look how far its roots are spread. I think that's just incredible. You can see those people there, so you can see the perspective of the size of it flipping massive thing and you can go walk on them this is totally repeat i remember doing this in a vlog absolutely years ago my daughter was little that's just it's not the kind of terrain you see every day you know one can't quite resist <laughs> it's quite uh, interesting 
such a high ridge there, look. Ridgy roots. Oh, I think those ferns. I think I had one of those in a pot plant once. Since I've been here, I've been really thinking about pot plants again for my house. I used to love having potted plants, but it's watering them when I'm away, and, and I'm away a lot because of my gigs, and also I stay at IBs for, you know, days on end. But I'm sure I can get automatic plant waters on Amazon, you know. Yeah, I definitely had these. They used to make me so happy, all my plants everywhere. I had so many, it was almost as if I lived in a garden indoors, you know. Look at these big tendrils, it's like the Tarzan tendrils coming down. Oh, I presume it's more roots. I mean, I wonder if they're not native to Portugal, you know, because obviously the Portuguese mariners, the early Portuguese mariners did travel off in their boats and come back with exotic samples. And this is why a lot of the botanical gardens have got such a variety of plants more around the world in it. And there, look, that's a massive one. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wonder where this originated. Don't look now, but there's another rat down there. It's two dead rats I've seen. I won't put it on camera for you because probably most of you are not as fascinated by that as I am. And in fact, you'll get put off your dinners. Rain has stopped. Good. And do you know what? Since I found out what the boat and two crows thing meant, it's the city coat of arms basically. I see it everywhere on the tops of lampposts, on the paving, on things like that. It's got water in it, but is that because it. Whoop! Yeah, yes, it works. <laughs> Just behind us now, and with little children sitting around it, there's like a second hand book hub. Hi there. And I don't know if they're for sale or if they're for loan or you just hang out there and read, but there's watercolours set up on the table and some little children's toys set out on the floor. Oh, what's happened to his nose? Poor fella. Looks like it's been chopped off. I'm quite fascinated here. Look, these tree roots have come down from up above and they're sort of interlacing with all the rock there. It's quite fascinating. I like it when I've got a bit of extra time to stop and stare at the small details. So easy to overlook stuff, isn't it, when we're so busy all the time. But today, well, just kind of got blown out of the water for various reasons, so I'm enjoying this. In case anyone was wondering, that's who that statue was. Is that rain I hear? Might be. Oh no. Here we go again, starting to land and noisy big splats on the paving again. Actually, I don't think that's called paving, is it? Is that called paving if we haven't got paved stones? Or is it still paving anyway? You know, that's something I don't actually know. Look at all those succulents there up ahead. What a feast for the eyes! That one looks like a snozcomber. People have been graffitiing on these leaves. They're quite big and sturdy. I've never knocked on a cactus before. If it's a cactus. Is it a cactus or a succulent? I'm not sure. Not used to them. Of course, a big one. Massive. And well, that's a different sort there. More, I don't know, sticky uppy. Yeah, really rigid. I suppose we've had a lot of rain lately. A lot. A lot of rain. So maybe the succulents are all full. What's the word? Torgid? Turgid. Turgid, I think that's the word. This one's got a very bulbous base, doesn't it? It almost looks like a reptile, like, I don't know, an alligator. I'm almost seeing alligator-like formations there. I wouldn't want to get this close to an alligator, though, believe me. I'll put my hand on it. Okay, it's all knobbly. Cool. And then it kind of grows out from there. It's my shame I've forgotten what that impressive structure is there. You can go in at certain times. I was researching before I came. I kind of want to say basilica, but I'm sure it isn't because I've already been in one of them. I just attempted to use a drinking fountain and now I've got everything to dry my face with it. It's my glasses and everything. I'm just absolutely... I've <laughs> got a very wet face. Mm. It's a great big bandstand there. It's lovely to see this park being so well used. There's a kid's birthday party happening over there. There's a table set up, well a few tables set up with the adults there and loads of children. They're all playing football. They've got all drinks and food set out. We've got a guy over there, he's practicing juggling with clubs. People have been practicing self-defense over there with the pads, you know, all the kit and everything. Just so nice to see. Yeah, everyone just hanging out and relaxing. I'm feeling very relaxed. I'm gonna head back at some point because I want to practice my flute before it gets too late. I have got out of practice, but I have been playing out in the evenings a lot. Although I did have quite a big break when I had that cold and I've still got it a bit. It keeps resurfacing, but I'm fine for the most part. I think I'm gonna go to that cafe now anyway. I have a little coffee, maybe a toasty if they have them, and then get the tram all the way back because I think I can. Look, somebody's having a cheeky sip out of that fountain. There's resourceful. Look, there's loads of water in this park, you know. I wonder if he does that a lot. That's probably the way to do it without getting water all over your face and glasses. I think I might have one of those. I'm just gonna check what they are. 
I presume they're sweet. Yeah, I think so. That's the rest of the choice. Everything else looks a bit dense. I just want a light bite, really. Well, that came to three euros something. I didn't quite catch what she said, and then I didn't take notice of how much change she gave me, but I think it might have been 3 45 something like that. That's a pastel de nata. It's uh, just a Portuguese custard tart. I thought it, it looked a bit lemony, but it isn't. Got plenty of doggies in this cafe. I'm not a fan of perching on high things, but I am, because there's nowhere else to sit, <laughs> and everywhere outside is wet. I'm sure you're not supposed to be in here. I wonder if that's the one that was having a drink out of the human fountain. There's a thing over there on the end, look by the cups, and it reminds me of what midwives used to use to listen to babies' heartbeats through the mother's tummy. Can anybody remember what that was called? I'm showing my age there. Right, that was nice. Well, it's starting to get a bit dark now. Look, there's that thing. It looks quite amazing, doesn't it? God, really, really ornate. So I'm hoping I can get a tram from outside here. I've got a feeling I can get a number 28, and it does a really long route. It's a very famous one because it's really quite roller coastery at, at points. Now I need to find where the tram lines are. Don't I? That's a clue as to where to find them. Um, presume it's the other side. Yeah, it says 2080. The E bit means electrical, which means tram. So it's just specifying that it's a tram, not a bus, you know. Yeah, I'm going to wait here and see what happens. I presume it's this direction. I'm just guessing, to be honest. I'm just looking at that tram over there. That's, I think it's more of a touristy one, to be honest. But look, they're taking that thing down, see? It just, he's just got out and put the, more, the long spindly one on instead. And the other one's going down, and I don't know why. Anyway, waiting here in the rain for the tram. I think I'm pretty sure it's the right side because one came from the other direction and it just had the terminal station for the other end on it. So I'm pretty confident it's this one. It'd be nice if it wasn't raining though because I'm getting wet and cold. <laughs> And I don't want my flute to get wet, but I don't think it will. That is the basilica, by the way. It must be another basilica. It's beautiful. Sometimes these trams can just get completely blocked off. Um, yesterday I was filming my shopping vlog, not a vlog for this channel. And I happened to go past this flipping car. He would parked right over the tram lines and he had loads of room to get his nose in further. It was about a metre and a half or something. I don't know what that driver was thinking of, but the trams were just backed up behind it because they can't go around it, can they? they got to stick to the lines and that's that so anyway we've had loads of buses go past and i'm not sure if i could have got on any of them but i just kind of fancy going on the tram just for old time's sake really finally coming and a big queue has formed in the time we've been here oh it's like oh wait he's waggling his finger oh 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 no he's waggling his finger to say no you're not getting on here <laughs> Wow, that was the longest bell ring I've ever heard <laughs> from a clock, you know. Um, I would have chopped that down, but I'm on about a minute's worth of recording at the moment and I missed the first phrase. Anyway, this tram is just, I don't know, I'm thinking about walking back, even though it's nearly an hour to walk from here. because it's just not coming and I feel fidgety <laughs> by this point. I think we've been here half an hour at least because we've had loads of bells. And what's going on with that one? That's going over there, that one. Um, we're supposed to be every eight minutes according to Google, but no, we've only had one and they wouldn't let us on. I got the fidget, so I'm going to walk back. There's another 28 going the other side. I don't know what's the matter, what the hold up is, but it's just, I think when it does come, it's just going to be so packed, so it'll be unpleasant. Two now coming this side is bizarre. There's no actual pavement here. At least you know when you're not on the actual tram tracks, you're not going to get run over by one, well, unless you're really close to them, you know. I told the Spanish visitors to the city that I've been trying to chat to in broken Spanish. <laughs> Give me a wave from the tram when you go past. They'll come past now probably. <laughs> no, no. They're still waiting. I'm going to run over the road because this is daft. I don't even know if this is the right way, but I'm just going to walk. can't believe it. I've come two stops down and here's the tram come and it's empty virtually. I can't believe it. Right, excellent. My new Spanish friends aren't on it either, so I don't know what happened to them. Whoa. <laughs> but there's another one coming. Isn't it typical? You wait for ages and then a load come all at once, so I bet they're on that one there. Okay, so I got off the tram and look how many are banked up now. Apparently, like a lady said, there's been an accident and there's a delay it's likely to be an hour. So um, I'm going to get the metro back. I think I can pick that up in, um, yeah, near here. So it's okay. 
for me, I mean, it's not, oh, is that it there? Well, I won't go and film it, yeah, oh dear. But one, two, three, four, five trams banked up and another one up there as well. We're going to have a big blockage, I think, yeah. It's pretty dark. It looks lighter on the camera than it is in real life here. And the lights aren't lit, like the street lamps aren't lit. Seems a little odd. I finally got in and I'm going to have a nice cup of tea now. I've put the kettle on. It's quarter past seven. It's been quite a nice relaxed pace sort of day, really. I've just, I don't know, I haven't done anything that special, but I've enjoyed it because I've kind of just been able to take the time to look around and take things in more. But anyway, thank you so much for watching it. Do feel free to click on that playlist if you've missed any of my Lisbon vlogs and you might want to catch up on them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!